What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. Guys, today we're going to be going over the best rewards to take. Before we get into it, drop the like, sub if you are new, 10k MT, uh, drop whatever you want in the comments. If we get the vid to 40 likes, we'll give away 10k MT to a random sub. So drop that sub, join the wave, three videos a day, tip videos, gameplay videos, all that good stuff. Um, let's get into it. So we're going to dissect what rewards to pick because you do get 10 rewards, I would say, for each one. So let's get into it. So this video, it's very easy. We're just going to go over stats. I'm going to just tell you what players to take, what I chose so far. So we're going to go over all the rewards. Actually, no. We're going to go over the Emerald and the Sapphire rewards. And then we're going to go over the Ruby and the Amethyst and then the Diamond and Pink Diamond and other videos. So the Emerald rewards... Here we go. So you get 10. You can, you can pick 30 of them, but I pick 10 because if you get 10, you go to the next. You go to the Sapphire Rewards. So let's get into it for the Emeralds. Um, this is who I chose. Wait, does it show who I chose or no? It does not. Okay. So I'm going to show you who I chose. But first of all, there's actually a lot of good Emeralds. Um, this Sean Bradley, I'm going to tell you right now, is actually good just because of his height. He's 7'6". His height's really good. I highly recommend that one. Gerard Bayless is all right. Um, his 84 three-pointer is pretty good. To be honest, these emeralds are actually pretty solid. De Let's see Boogie. Um, Boogie's all right. I wouldn't choose him all day. I wouldn't choose Ron Harper. I was going to show you who I choose chose because uh, it makes more sense that way. So let's get into it. So I chose Rondo because of his defense, his playmaking. Uh, I like Rondo. He's good at floaters. He's good at driving. I like Rondo. He's good at D. Uh, I recommend you get him. He's actually playing very, very well for me. Um, his stats are pretty good. You can't really shoot the ball, but I just like Rondo. It's Rondo. Like, who doesn't like Rondo? Um, his pass IQ is good. His handle is good. His accuracy is good. So Rondo's pretty solid. Next up, I got this dude named Bob Sura. Uh, there is a ruby of him if you do like a lot of domination challenges and stuff. So this is why I chose this card. Um, Three-point shots, beautiful. Mid-range shots, beautiful. Um, his free throws, great. His driving dunks, even better. He's a point guard that can dunk. So that's an up. That's a big up. His handles are good. His passing is good. Uh, perimeter D is actually pretty good. Steals decent, not really that good, but he's pretty solid card overall. That's why I chose him. Highly recommend you get him. Next up, we got shooting guards. We chose Jamal Crawford, Jay Rich, Isaiah Ryder. Uh, so let's go over Jamal Crawford. I chose Jamal Crawford. Who doesn't like Jamal Crawford, first of all? Um, his three point shot is decent out of 76. Mid range is decent out of 76 as well. Um, card's pretty good. Um, he's got a good driving layup. He's got handles. Let's be real. His handles are 93. Decent passing. Defense is not there, but it's Jamal Crawford. It's only 81 overall. I think it's a very good card to choose. Next up, Jay Rich, bro. Jay Rich always could shoot. Always could shoot the mid. Always could do layups. And guess what he could do? Dunk. So this Jay Rich card is filthy. Best one of the best budget cards in the game for emeralds. Especially for only three tokens, dude. You can't go wrong. His handles aren't bad. His passing isn't bad. And his steal's not bad. Like, he's a really, really good bunch of card. Highly recommend you scoop him up. Um, Isaiah Ryder, as usual. I call him Mini LeBron, bro. He's literally so good. He's got a three. He's got a dunk. He's got a layup. This card is disgustingly filthy. So, he's got a... Like, dude, he has an 83-3. He has a 93 dunk. Like, who? this card is so good. His steal's good, and his perimeter D's good. This card right here is stacked. Him and Jay Rich are one of my favorites in the whole collection. So, definitely recommend them. Next up, small forwards. We got Jamari, Yo Moon, and we got Paul Pierce. So, Paul Pierce always could shoot that three. He could do a layup. He could do a post fade. It's Paul Pierce. He's a beast. Dunk's not the best. Handling's pretty decent. Defense is eh, but it's Pierce. He's got a good perimeter. Not too bad, dude. I love Paul Pierce, man. I am get. I hope they get dropped drop an Amethyst soon. I'll pick him up. Next up, Jamario Moon. Yo, he could kind of shoot. Not the best, but his dunk's really freaking good. Along with his layup. Along with his defense is trash. But perimeter D's all right. His dunk and his three is not bad mid-range. I would say his card is pretty good. You could definitely get better, though. Um, Powerful. I got Brian Scalabrine, too. He could just shoot. He's a beast. Um... 
the, that's pretty much it. Did I get a center? I got a no. I got a Daryl Dawkins. He's good. Um, definitely recommend this Daryl Dawkins. He's just a beast overall. And also in the Emeralds, if you don't want to pick any of those players, I would say there's a ton of other players you could pick. Um, I'm gonna show you some that are actually still good. If I can freaking find it. Like, what am I doing? There we go. So, Emeralds, here we go. So, I would say Bayless isn't bad. The Bradley isn't good. D Cousins, I feel like I'd rather get Bradley than him. And Dale Dawkins, dang, eh. He has a slow jumper. Ron Harper, nah. Kellogg, nah. Kerr's not bad, just because his three is probably out of this world. Yeah, 94-3. He's pretty good. Uh, this dude, he's got a 95-3. He's pretty good. Bobon's mad tall. He's not bad. McDyes, nah. Darius Miles, pretty sure got a three ball, too. 57 what his card last year had a sick three sam mitchell got a so yeah those are the cards victor Depot. there's really a lot of cards you could choose i just chose the ones i like pretty much um sapphire cards there's a lot you could choose we got michael Carl williams this car in my opinion is doo, doo um don't recommend this car do not get it um his defense is decent but he's not that good brad davis sapphire He's got a shot. I recommend the card. He's got a layup. His handles are good. His passing is good. His steals not good. Brother D's not bad either. Um, Jeff Foster. Let's see. Is he tall? 6'11". Not too big. He's got a mid range. He's got a post fade. Nope. He's got no post moves. Zero post moves. He's only got a decent mid. He's got no dunking and he's got no defense. So this is the worst card by far. And he's slow as hell. Stay away from this card. This card is probably one of the worst sapphires in the game. He's got nothing going for him. Next up, Larry Hughes. You guys know he's a shooter. 3.783, not bad. Layup 90. Free throw 80. He's pretty good. Good handles. Good at good. Good. Good card. 94 steal. This card's very good. I will definitely be getting him. Too bad he doesn't say point guard. This Igadala is decent. His three's terrible. He can't shoot. His dunk's really good. Passing, handling is good. Defense is eh, can't steal, but he has good perimeter D. Uh, not bad. His athleticism is good, but can't shoot. Kind of an L. Tony Kukoc, the cheeser of all cheesers, bro. 84-3. He's got the three. He's got the mid. He's got the post fade. He's got the layup. He's, he's just good. He's just a good scorer. Um, his defense is pretty trash, but he's pretty much just a scorer. If you want to score on your team, I recommend the card. Christian Latner, he's actually pretty decent too. He's got a post fade, he's got a post hook. That's plus. Mid-range shot is beautiful. He can shoot the three wide open possibly. Dunking's not the best. Uh, pass IQ is decent. Steal and blocks, actually not bad. Interior defense is pretty good. His perimeter D is terrible, but he's a power forward center, so he's just a power forward actually. Ralph Lorenz. Lorenz or Lorenz, I don't know. He's 6'11". Good post player. Good mid-range, good three-pointer. I will be getting him as my next card. This dude is a beast. Um, damn, he's a freaking beastly scorer. He could even dunk. Uh, let's check his defense. Good block, good interior, decent rebounding. Yo, this guy's a beast. So this is a card I would recommend. Uh, this dude, I'm not even going to pronounce his name. It's like Marcelonis. I don't know how to say it, but he's got a three. He's got a mid. He's got a good close. Um, pretty good card, pretty good shooter. That's really it. Just shooting, I would say. Good shooter. Pretty slow. Kenyon Martin's probably got a mid-range, right? Yeah, decent mid-range. Decent post hook. Terrible post fade. Dunk's pretty good. He's a pretty good dunker. Uh, we got a good block. Good steal. Yeah, he's pretty good on defense, too. So, good. Besides rebounding, eh, he's all right. Wouldn't really recommend him. JaVale McGee. You already know he's got dunking and he's got defense. Driving dunk, good. Yeah, block, good. Yep, yep, yep. So, he's a defensive center that could dunk. Honestly, not bad. Uh, he's pretty tall, 7 foot, not terrible. Matumbo, you know he's a dunker. Um, post hook's good. Dunk's good. Standing dunk's good. Uh, defense, freaking solid, dude. It's Matumbo. So, yeah, his defense is pretty solid. Robert Pack, this card's very well put together. Um, I also chose Nick Anderson. I'll show you him in a second. Robert Pack, uh, we got a 3 point shot 79. He could dunk too. He has good defense. He's very good. He's a very good car. I'll be picking him up. Ricky Pierce, eh, he's all right. Three-point shot's pretty good. Dunk's not there. Handle's not good. Defense is trash. Rather take pack, even though he's a small forward. This dude, have not checked his stats. Can't shoot. Uh, drive and dunk 75. Eh, block 77. Steal. Eh, he's all right. 
Scott Skiles, we got a three-point shot, 85, 83 mid-range. Dunking, no, no. Handles, really. He's one of the best passers of all time. Um, he has, like, I'm pretty sure he has the assist record at 27 assists or something like that. Uh, perimeter D in a game. Yeah, he's pretty good. What I recommend, I think there's better. Um, John Starks, dude, he's a beast. But, guys, John Starks is a good shooter. Kenny Walker. Dude, John Starks, you guys know his stats. It's the same stats every year. This guy's not that bad. But the ones I chose first two, my first two Sapphires I chose, dude. John, dude, you got to get this guy. This is the number one that you should get. You know why? He's 7'7", dude. He could do everything. I play with him on domination on the superstar difficulty. He's so good. He's so tall. No one can block him. And also, dude, uh, Nick Anderson, dude. He's a beast. That's all I really got, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's Nick Anderson's stats. Good driving, dunk. Good three, good mid-range. He's a shooter with decent defense. I hope you guys enjoyed for the vid. Stay tuned for more. Drop a like, drop a sub if you're new. That's all I got. Peace.